Alrighty, welcome back everyone to our Red Dead Redemption 2 Every Horse series. Um, this is the Chestnut Tennessee Walker. Um, really quickly before I get into kind of my experience with this horse, let's just go over the stats again. So base stats of the Tennessee Walkers are 3 health, 3 stamina, 2 speed, and 2 acceleration. And then at max bonding, they are 6 health, 6 stamina, 5 speed, and 4 acceleration. Those stats are stats that I pulled off of kind of like the um like the player's guide or manual thing that that came with um red dead redemption 2 but the interesting thing i want to show you really quick is that thing says that it's um five speed and four acceleration but if you look at the horse down on the bottom left it clearly has five bars in each area i don't know if that's a um something to do with like my stirrups or the saddle i have on the horse but i just thought that was a little bit interesting um, just noticed that as I was um, double checking the name of the horse um, before I began this video. Um, for this horse, I, um, like I mentioned in the previous video, I was super excited to do this Chestnut Tennessee Walker because I think this is one of the best looking horses in the game. I, I mean, I personally just love how Chestnut horses look, um, and this one, you know, matches that perfectly. I think it's a perfect size of horse it's not i wouldn't say that it's small but i wouldn't say that it's like overly large like some of the horses where you you know walk up next to it or you see it and you just think that it is super super huge i think it's a good size horse um i love the way its coat looks i love that it has um a little bit of white markings on its face but it also doesn't have any white markings on its legs which i like um i'm just double checking that i don't think it does maybe it gets a little bit lighter down by the hoofs but it doesn't have like um socks on it like white socks so, um, the thing about this horse and as I have ridden it that I have noticed is that I have mentioned in the last couple videos, especially since returning to this series that I think that the bravery, well, I guess we're going to test it right here. I believe that the bravery is a, a placebo effect thing. And I definitely think that this horse has proven that for me. Um, let me kind of focus here for a second as I fight off these wolves. Um, I say that it's a placebo effect thing. Oh, he's going to buck me off right now. Okay, so you saw that he did decently well there. He's still a little bit agitated right now, but he handled that okay. The steering got a little dodgy there in the trees over here for a second, but yeah, he seemed to handle it pretty good. So that was that was perfect timing. Um, but yeah, I've, I've mentioned in the last few videos that I think that the... Um, the bravery of a horse is, is a placebo thing. I do believe that each horse breed has its own level of bravery um but i do think that from coat to coat or between male and female it's just completely a placebo effect thing the thing that makes me doubt that is this horse is because i have feel like when it comes to hunting i've had a pretty hard time with the tennessee walkers um i feel like they've had a tendency to buck me off really quickly um but as you saw there he did just fine the reason i think that is happening is because the previous tennessee walkers i wasn't you know 100 percent in love with them i didn't love their coats it was just kind of a horse that i felt like you know i want to give this horse a chance so i'm gonna do it you know of course in the in the series but i'm not in love with it so i'm not 100 percent committed to it um, I'm not going to hundred percent take care of it. And that applies to when in combat, you know, gunfighting or also when being attacked by predators. Whereas because I enjoy this coat of horse so much and, um, I like the way this horse looks so much, I've made, I think an unconscious effort to calm it more and to take care of it better. Um, so that maybe isn't necessarily a placebo effect. That definitely is just me behaving differently because I either like or dislike a horse, you know, more than, than other ones. Um, so just like the other Tennessee walkers, uh, this one though, it, it 
did well in, in, you know, when it came to being attacked by predators. But like I just mentioned, I think that's absolutely a product of me just, you know, liking this horse a lot more and wanting to wanting to care for it. Um, more than it is a difference in the bravery between the, the coats of horses. Um, as far as speed go, we've, we've discussed this before. I, I think that once when you have, you know, the right stirrups and the right saddle, the speed and acceleration of the horse doesn't totally matter. Um, you know, I'm, I've been riding this horse, um, while playing with some friends and they have, um, the, the two people that I play with are a little bit newer to the game. So they have, um, one of them has like a Mustang. Um, I think one of them has like a Turkoman, but they don't have the best saddle yet. And so I easily out outran them with this horse with the best saddle. So, I mean, obviously I'm not going to win a race against, um, an Arabian, Nakoda, Thoroughbred, um, you know, any of those actually fast horses, but, um, it, it gets the job done. I don't, I don't feel like I'm, you know, lagging behind or, or a hindrance in, in any way when, when riding this horse. Um, so one thing that I did want to mention about this horse and about me enjoying it so much is I've had an idea for the end of the series. If, you know, hopefully when we, when we get to it, that I, you know, I think we have 10 stable slots in the stable. Um, and so my plan is, is at the end of the series, I'm going to pick the 10 horses that I want to have in this game, whether it's based on looks, based on stats, based on, you know, how they behaved during the series, whatever it might be, I'm going to, you know, put those 10 horses in my stable and I'm going to make a video kind of showcasing maybe each one, giving each one another highlight video, or just do one big summary video of what my stable looks like at the end of the series. But the reason I mention that now is because I do think solely based on looks, I think that this horse may have a spot um, in the in the stable at the end of the series. I I have really enjoyed this. Um, I've really enjoyed this horse. It's just difficult because I wish that I could keep this one specifically. But as horses have gone on sale, specifically the gold horses or the horses that cost gold, what I've done is I've um, purchased them ahead of time, kept a saddle off of them and not touched them. Like I've had a black Arabian in my um, stable for a, a really long time and it was because a while ago it went on sale. So I purchased it, I think it was like half off. Um, I purchased it, put it in the stable, and I've never ridden it. Um, so I think it's at, at one bonding, um, but yeah. So because of that, because I have all these horses that are just kind of stowed in there until you know the time comes for their video, I only have one <laughs> available stable slot for me to do this series with. So I purchase a horse, ride it to max bonding, and then um, after I do that, I sell it and then fill that stable slot again with, with the next horse. So I'm actually riding over to the strawberry stable to to unfortunately ditch this horse specifically um, and purchase the next one. I'm trying to remember for sure. I think we have one more, um, you know, standard or basic Tennessee Walker before we get to the Tennessee Walker that costs gold, which that is another horse that I'm really excited for. Um, and part of me thinks that instead of having this Tennessee Walker at the, you know, end of the series, I might have that Tennessee Walker that costs gold because although I do love this, this coat of this horse, I do actually like, um, that one as well. Um, you can see, I don't know if you've noticed as I've been discussing, but in the mini map, a couple, you know, snakes have popped up and the Tennessee walkers do not do well with, with predators. Um, but yeah, so I, um, yeah. So as far as I don't think really anything is all that different between this horse and the previous Tennessee walkers. It, does well in combat. It has sufficient health and sufficient stamina to get you by. It um, does. It just doesn't do well in combat. But like any horse, even a Morgan or an Arabian, I think that if you focus hard enough on um, calming the horse, you are not going to have any issues. And that is definitely what I've noticed with this horse. And I, you know, I think I can confidently come to a conclusion that any sort of difference between coats or gender of horses um, is solely solely a placebo type thing or an effort type thing on the you know the players the players part um, did mention it previously but I named it red and it is uh, a male horse but um, yeah thank you all so much for watching I'm sorry there was a little bit of a delay in this video we were um, out of town for the the 4th of July um, but now I'm back in town and we'll you know, hopefully get 
back on the schedule of one video a week. Um, and it will most likely be towards the beginning of the week that I, that I post that video. So thank you all so much for watching and I will catch you all in the next video. Nice.